Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use ChatGPT in a more effective way and turn it into an expert so it can answer to your questions in a much better way. So probably you've seen this option of ChatGPT that you can set some custom instructions so that it can understand you in a better way and answer your questions uh, in a more you know concise way depending on your personality and your location and so on so i came across this a project on github that are some sort of basic instructions for the uh, chat gpt and um, according to their explanation uh, ChatGPT Auto Expert is a shockingly effective set of custom instructions aimed at enhancing the capabilities of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 turbo conversational models. These instructions maximize the depth and nuance in responses while minimizing general disclaimers and hand-holding. So basically, if you want to use these uh, custom instructions, uh, you have these two options, the uh, standard edition and the developer edition. For this video tutorial, I'm going to use the standard edition, which I think would be more beneficial for more people. And uh, here they have some explanations, how to use it. There is verbosity that you can set and uh, there are some commands that you can use. And um, just scroll down for now and uh, open these two about me.md and custom instructions.md. If you're using GPT-3, uh, like the free version of uh, chat GPT, uh, you should use uh, GPT-3. If you have a premium subscription, uh, you'd better use GPT-4. So I'm going to copy the first file contents and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm also going to copy the second file's content and paste it in this other text box. So now we save these custom instructions. And from now on, ChatGPT is going to behave differently. So um, for instance, I'm going to ask, what are the health benefits of saffron and i'm going to put a v5 here which is the verbosity command i will tell you more about it so when you enter this question you see that uh, it turns to an expert a nutritionist an herbalist and then it sets some uh, possible keywords and then uh, changes your question a little bit and uh, it makes a plan and depending on that plan it answers uh, to your question and um, so what was the v5 so v v5 when you set the v to 5 it basically increases the verbosity of the uh, of the chat gpt so if you set it on one it's going to be extremely uh, brief and then concise and then detailed and then more detailed and then very exhaustive. So I set it on uh, five because I wanted a detailed explanation about it. It also has some commands. For instance, if you uh, write um, a summary, then it summarizes uh, the questions and important takeaways from the conversation. So let's write summary. As you can see, it summarized um, the answer. Or what else? It also uh, has a Q command, suggests additional follow-up questions. Let's test this one. So it says, if you are interested in incorporating saffron into your diet for its health benefits, you might consider asking 
what are some delicious recipes that include saffron, how much saffron is recommended for daily consumption, and so on. It also provides some links to Google. Uh, it used to work, but it's been a while that it's not working. I'm trying to click on it, but it's not opening uh, the link. I don't know if it's some problem with my chat GPT or whether they've changed something in the design, uh, but that's the way it is. So let's ask one of these questions and then set the verbosity to four. Let's see what happens. So again, it turns into an expert according to your question and then provides an answer for you. It's amazing. Uh, the way it improves the the answers and you know the amount of details that it provides it's very good and um, it also you know cuts off some of the information that could be useless and I really recommend it it's been a um, couple of months that I'm using it and I've enjoyed using it and um, they have also recently release the version 6 uh, I tried to use it but when you open it apparently in order to use the version 6 which is the new version you have to sign up for chat GPT plus in order to use it so it's not just some sort of basic uh, instructions that you uh, set here in the custom instructions and if you wanted to disable it you can just basically go here to custom instructions and then uh, remove all of these things I'm going to remove all of these and save it and then if you start a new chat and you ask what are the health benefits of saffron the output is going to be different so it's not like the expert version so this is totally recommended. If you have used uh, version 6, let me know uh, how is the performance in the comments and maybe I also give it a try. And also let me know if the links work for you. Uh, because for me, when I try to click on this, it just doesn't open it for me. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video tutorial and uh, let me know your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching.